Next to enter the den are two business partners from the West Midlands who have big ambitions for a business with very humble beginnings. Product's great. Yeah. They'll love us. Yeah, they will. I'm proud of the fact that I've actually set something up from nothing. The business actually started on my kitchen table, so I literally uh, was making it by hand. Here we go. Catherine's brought her life almost into this business. Get ready for this. Good luck. Good luck. And I support her fully. Hello, dragons. My name's Catherine, and I'm the founder of Simply Seeds. And I'm here with my business partner, Paul, to ask for £40,000 investment for 20% equity in our company. Simply Seeds is a range of natural breakfast and snacking products. Our products are refined sugar-free and low in cholesterol. Our porridges are a blend of British oats, pumpkin and sunflower seeds and fruit, with the sugar content being measured purely from the fruit only. We also make a range of uh, seed mixes for healthier snacking. Um, recently, we've launched the porridge on Ocado and Amazon. We also sell directly to the consumers via our website and social media. We would like to take your questions and also have a little taste of our products. Hoping the dragons have a hunger to invest in their breakfast and snacking products... I hope you've got an appetite. <laughs> Thank you. ...are Catherine Zielinski and her business partner, Paul Lawson. They're willing to hand over 20% of their food enterprise in return for a £40,000 boost to their company coffers. Oh, thank you. Deborah Meaden wants to get a taste of what makes this business unique. Can I be um, clear on why you've entered this market. So what gap did you see? Because there are plenty yeah. of porridge pots yeah. and there are plenty of seed businesses. I saw that there was a gap in the market in, in terms of a, a healthier alternative snacking product. The products I make are flavoured and they've got a little bit more interesting, a little bit more bite. OK, right, let's concentrate on the porridge then. OK. In terms of its sugar content, how does this compare to another fruited porridge. Okay, so, so that one is 10% uh, sugar content. 11%, you're right. Yep. Close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, typically they range between 25 to 30% in a porridge pot. As far as we're aware, there is not another flavoured porridge with um, the, the same level of sugar content in at the moment on the market. So you think that you are we think, offering we the, think lowest the lowest sugar content sugar for a high-end porridge? Yeah, for a high-end flavoured right. porridge. Deborah Meaden establishes the USP of the porridge pot proposition. Peter Jones now wants to find out if the organic company is in good financial health. How long has this business been going? The business um, was started to trade 18 months ago. So the last 12 months performance then, what was your turnover? Um, for, for the first year's trading, um, we had a turnover of £18,000 with a loss of £19,000. And for the last seven months, we've had a turnover of £17,000 with a gross profit of 4000 but still with a loss of 900 These seeds aren't growing for you, are they? Not at the moment, but uh, there is a lot of interest. Well, there's not. What's going wrong? Yeah, the, the reason being is that um, there is only myself in, in the business uh, on it full time. Paul, what do you do? I'm mentoring Catherine. I also do the warehousing as well. So, what, and what mentoring? What's what's your background? Paul? Uh, my background um, for the last 25 years, I've started up three companies. I've had a, um, an engineering cleaning company. I've also got a steel belt company. And nine months ago, I started up a bespoke uh, stainless steel swimming pool company. Wow. Have you made a lot of money? Yes, I've made enough money. How much? <laughs> Um, enough. One million? Yes. Yeah. OK. And Catherine, how much did he invest? Um, £10,000. £10,000. £10, why, why, why only £10,000? 
Um, because um, I didn't know Catherine at the time and I couldn't commit all of my time to, to the business. So when you took Paul on board as an investor, what, 12 months or so ago? Yes. You took Paul's £10,000, then gave him how much equity? 10%. So you valued your business 12 months ago uh -huh. at £100,000. Today you're valuing it at £200,000, even though your sales have not progressed. How does that stack up in your mind? The, the valuation is based upon the fact that we now have um, a brand, we have a trademark, we have a quality product that is being enjoyed by our customers, but not by, not enough, but not by enough customers, right. and we need more people to know. But the brand's about it. not it's known. It's yes. not selling. Yeah, we need to be able. But you to... still haven't told me what's doubled the valuation of your business in 12 months. Why are you not asking the investors to invest at, at least the same valuation or less because you haven't moved forward? Okay. Yeah. Well, I take that point. Yeah. I actually love porridge, and. I love your packaging. I think it's fantastic. I actually disagree with Jenny. I'm not too concerned about your valuation. You know, it's a £200,000 uh, company. I don't think you should be beating up on that. You've got the differentiation point in terms of low sugar. Mm. Do you have a, a plain flavour? No, but it's no. something we would like to introduce. I actually like your seeds. We're actually very excited about these. We've been approached by other investors regarding the seeds. No, I like them. It's just that you're, you're very early. Guys, can I ask, who owns Simply Seeds with an S on the end of it? With an S? With an S. Well, oh, with an S. Um, a um, flower producer. There is a reason for the Z. It's my surname. Oh, what's your surname? Zelinsky. Zelinsky? Yeah. Do you see that might cause a bit of an issue, though, particularly when you're looking on the online marketplaces? Um, we do need to do some improvements to get our um, hits up, but if you put in Simply Seeds into Google, you'll find us um, on the first 23. What? You've... Good. Do you know what? That isn't telling me nothing. Most people will spell it with an S on the end of it, and you will have the devil's job then finding you. Had you not thought about that? Yes, I have. Yes, I have thought about that, and it can, it can be... I suppose it's kind of, it's a little bit quirky in terms of the, the Z being on the end. Not that quirky. OK. I think you built yourself a real problem with that branding. So I'm afraid for me it's not an investment, so I'm out. A Z in the product name leaves Deborah Meaden asking why, and she ends her interest in the deal. And Jenny Campbell is ready to give her verdict on the porridge pears pitch. I think you do probably have something here as a little business. It's just seeing the scalability of that is really quite difficult. And I think you lack a bit of focus on how to achieve that scale. And so for that reason, every good wish, but I'm out. Oh, thank you very much. For me, you've got a seed of an idea, but it's not going to grow into a big business. And I think that's a problem. It's not a business that I could see that I could make any money out of by investing. Okay. But I wish you the very best, but I'm going to say I'm out. Two more dragons find the food company's proposal hard to swallow. Has porridge enthusiast Tej Lalvani been tempted by the business? As I said, I, I, the packaging is great. I love what you've done with the products but I just don't love your numbers. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the numbers aren't great, but we know there's a lot of opportunity for, in terms of the interest but that we're now getting. if there is opportunity, it, it, your sales should speak for themselves. How do you plan to increase your distribution? I think it was 7,500 units we sold in the, in the first year of trading last year. Um, we've managed to double that so far this year. We only brought Ocado online and Amazon uh, five months ago. And how's it doing on Ocados here monthly? Um, in the last five months, um, we've done about two, well, we've done just under two and a half thousand sales. So how much on Amazon have you sold? 900 pounds on Amazon. Your sales are not there, that just tells me something, that why isn't it selling? The demand is not there, and as an investor, if I put in 40,000 pounds, I don't see I'm gonna get it back. 
So this is not for me. I'm out. Tej Lalvani decides investment is off the menu. But one dragon remains, and he's been unusually quiet until now. Catherine, I don't think you should take any of the comments today to heart. Oh, excuse me, I hope she's serious here. I'm only being trying to help. I hope you really take I them to heart. All, all, yeah, all yes, the feedback is really you. important to me. Can, can can I, otherwise, I'm wasting finish, my breath. Can I just finish what I'm going to say? Do I interrupt when you... You've no, just no, asked Deborah, her not sorry. to listen, so basically. I'm about to finish what I'm going to say. Please? OK, so... I feel that you are the right person, maybe in the wrong product area. But I don't believe that you've got a business as far as I'm concerned, that is investable. So for that reason, I'm out. OK, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks very much. Tuka Suleiman warms to the entrepreneur, but the offering leaves him cold and he declines a deal. The duo leave the den empty-handed. You did fantastically well. I didn't. There's not a lot we could have said differently. We were very honest uh, and open with the figures. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind, Catherine. We'll get the investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if she came in with a different product that was a niche in the market that you saw growth in, we would have invested. How come you're being all nice all of a sudden? 